Hey y'all, it's Hans. Welcome back. So we got another review today. This is of the AGM Neath. I'm going to mess this number up, this model number. So I'm going to go ahead, read it off my list. The AGM Neath DS32-4MP. I don't know what all that means. I just call it the Neath Night Vision Scope. Now this was announced at SHOT Show 2023 back in January. Uh, we did a show, Jason and I, the co-host, uh, of the late night vision show, a show that we all do that you probably heard me talk about a lot. If you've listened to any of the, the videos on this channel, um, the late night vision show is a podcast that we do weekly and we do reviews, announcements, breaking news, all that. And the Neath was one of the optics that we talked about that I was probably, um, one of the most exciting things that I was wanting to see or anticipating to see and test out in the field for a lot of different reasons. We'll talk about that. This is the full review. We've got a lot of vid video to show you running down the likes and dislikes, the specs, who it might be good for. We are gonna look in the box. I got the box y'all and I've set it out so I remember to talk about what comes in it because it is important. There's some hiding spots in this box that's got important stuff in it you need to know. All right y'all, but before we jump into it, let me say this. If you're looking for a new night vision or thermal optic, you can call and talk to me, 877-350-1818, uh, outdoorlegacygear.com. Jump on the website. You can even stop this video uh, give me a call and say, hey, I'm watching the video or I watch your video. I've got questions about this, how it compares to another optic. 877-350-1818, outdoorlegacygear.com. You can talk to me. You can talk to uh, Jason, the other co-host of the Late Night Vision Show, or even our other uh, salesman, Ashley. So uh, this is the AGM Neath. That's just what I'm gonna call it, y'all. I'm not gonna call it the full model number. The full model number is gonna be in the description and in the title of this video. but. I mean, as far as for a night vision optics, very compact. I don't want to get into the likes right now because that's one of my likes. But let's run down the specs and then we'll get to all the meat and potatoes important stuff at the end of it. So price, probably one of the most important things. The price on this uh, night vision scope. Now this is night vision. This is not thermal. Don't want to get, to get confused by anybody. Purely 100% night vision with the IR light. So uh, price, $799. That's... Uh, uh, that is not the lowest price for a night vision scope on the market. Definitely not the most expensive. Um, I would say it's comfortably a little bit lower or, or right about the middle as far as price. Um, it starts at two and a half power and goes to 20 power with digital zoom. So 2.5x to 20x. Uh, it has a 1020, I'm sorry, a 1920 by 1080 OLED display. Uh, video recording, audio recording, it does have Wi-Fi. Uh, a built-in IR light. That was one of the things that really interested me the most. I wanted to find out how far you could see with this thing. Um, it is does have night vision and daytime mode, which means you it, you know switch it from night vision to full color uh, mode during the day. So you can hunt with it, obviously, during the day and at night. Uh, picture in picture display, multiple rifle profiles and reticles. Uh, it does have shot activated recording. So that's where uh, you don't have to remember to push record. You just take a shot and it will record about uh, 10 to 15 seconds before the shot and, and it will record some after as well. So it, for all the, all of y'all out there that say, man, I always forget to push the record button, that feature is for you. Uh, 18650, removable, rechargeable battery with four hours of runtime. Uh, that has been tested, confirmed. We're gonna talk about 18650s more here in a little bit. Uh, it does have an IP67 Weather rating, I mean, it's waterproof. You can take it out, uh, when I say water resistant, but you can take it out in rain, snow, drop it in a puddle for a little bit. It's not gonna hurt it, um, but especially out in the rain, that's not gonna be a problem at all. The field of view uh, at 100 yards is 42 and a half feet. It weighs 24, sorry, 25 ounces with the battery and the mount on it. The detection range uh, is gonna be with the built-in IR light. I know online, if you look at the specs, it says 400 yards. I'm going to be honest with you. With the IR light built into the unit, it's going to be more like 100 yards. Uh, it does come, uh, like so many of the other uh, AGM products, it does come with an American Defense Manufacturing locking quick release mount. Uh, and it does come with a three-year warranty. Now, I don't want you all to get that confused. I know you, a lot of people have asked. Yes, AGM did go to a five-year warranty, but only on their 384 resolution and 640 resolution thermal optics, not on night vision and not on any thermal lower than 384 resolution. So this does come with a three year warranty, very standard uh, in the industry for night vision, especially. So that is, uh, that's a rundown of the specs. 
Let's do what was in the box first. We'll get that out of the way, and then we'll do a little bit of walking around. Now, I said there's hiding spots, and you will miss it. This is the, the box that it came in. Uh, you've got a little black box here at the top. I don't know if the camera's getting it very well. Little black box at the top that just seems like it's part of the unit. It does have your charging base in it for the 18650 uh, batteries. Don't throw the box away. Don't think, man, they didn't give me a charging base. It's in it. It's just in the little cubby hole in the side of it. Uh, it does come with a very nice padded case. It comes with two 18650 rechargeable batteries, which is nice. Uh, cords, plugs. Uh, really, that's about all you need. I'm not seeing anything uh, in here that is uh, very interesting other than just the cords and the plugs. Now, very important in fact as well, you cannot charge the optic, you cannot charge the 18650 battery by plugging it in. You gotta take the battery out and charge it on the charging base. So if you just plug the scope in like a lot of other optics, especially thermal optics, it's not gonna charge that battery. You gotta take it out, put it on the base. And got that out of the way, that way you know, and you can't holler at me, call me up and say, Hans, uh, you did not give me the right information. You didn't give me all the information. So um, as far as the likes and dislikes, we're going to get right to that, but we're going to do a walk around first. <laughs> trying to run down this in my head. So you've got the battery cap on top. This is where the 18650 sits into the optic vertically. So it goes down uh, the positive side first, goes down vertically, screws on, screwed on really tight. One 18650 battery it holds. Eight, fantastic. We're going to talk about more, like uh, more about that later. The IR light right here on top. Now, if you see this optic, you're like, man, that looks very familiar. What is? It looks just like the AGM Varmint thermal rifle scope, but this is a night vision scope. Where the laser rangefinder was on the Varmint, that has the IR light. This does not have a laser rangefinder. Just so you know, this is an IR light. Very small, very compact, and that's what got me so interested in this when they announced it and showed it at SHOT Show is because having a night vision basically built in one scope with your light, that's one of the the ones, one of the negatives I don't like about night vision is having a big bulky light that you have to mount on your rifle. I, I don't particularly like that. So I was really liking the idea of, of not having to carry an extra light or have a light on there. It has that built-in IR light. So uh, you got the buttons on the side. Uh, not a very ambidextrous design. The buttons are on the left-hand side of the optic. Um, it's got a turn dial for magnification. It, there's a button in the middle of it for getting into the main menu, your record button, power button. Uh, it is dual focus, so it, it does have an objective lens focus and a um, eyepiece diopter focus right here. So two different focuses on it. Uh, That's where your USB-C cord goes in. If you want to download videos off of the optic onto your uh, onto your computer directly, you can do that. Um, this is one of the few night vision scopes that has Wi-Fi and an app that's capable. So that's fantastic uh, to be able to do that to get videos on and off. Um, but that's that's a walk around of the optic. Ooh, man, this is the second video in a row that I've almost dropped the scope. <laughs> uh, they're very small, very compact. Uh, call me Butterfingers here lately. All right, so what are we supposed to do now? Likes. Let's talk about the likes. We'll talk about who it's good for. Um, I really like the fact that it runs on an 18650 battery. I wish more optics we're in that category. I wish more companies adopted that. AGM has really got on the board with 18650 rechargeable batteries that are very easy to find, very inexpensive, 10 to $15 rechargeable. Uh, a lot of other um, hunting accessories use 18650s like lights, uh, hunting lights, IR lights, a lot of different uses for them. So you can find them anywhere and have a whole pocket full of them, very, very inexpensive. And it's removable, fantastic one of the biggest likes of the whole thing. Um, the, I do like the fact that it's very compact and small. Again, that was one of the main attractions to me to this optic when it was announced. Um, I would say that, uh, you know, 25 ounces with the mount, with the batteries is, is very, very good. Another like, it does come with the American Defense Manufacturing mount. Uh, also, very good picture image uh, for an, a, a night vision scope. And you're talking about uh, looking out whether it's during the day, at night, it does have a very clear image. Now, let's talk about the limitations. I'm gonna grab this one more time. Yeah, you, you're probably asking, why does he keep setting it down and picking it back up? And I keep thinking of things. The IR light here on top, 
fantastic great design very small uh, i said 100 yards this is going to be a 100 yard and in ir light so if the majority of your hunting is done shorter range um, you know if you're varmint hunting uh, predator hunting hog hunting anything within 100 yards this will be okay for if you're wanting to get out and see an id and hunt past 100 yards you are going to need another light um, so I was I had high hopes for it, but I knew at the end of the day it would be hard for a small light like like a small light like this to be able to get out that far. So 100 yards and in, it was good. I found it to be perfect for that, uh, and I wouldn't discourage you from not purchasing that because of the limitations on the built-in IR light because you can run a secondary uh, IR light as well. I, I'd say um, the other negative uh, as we're you're talking about dislikes is just having to take the battery out to charge it. It's a very small thing, not that big of a deal. Take the battery out to charge it, you can't charge it in the unit. Um, and then I would say uh, the focus adjustment. Yeah, I need, to, I need to talk about the focus adjustment. Not a huge deal again, but what I found a little bit difficult at night, when you're focusing the optic, your IR light is right there on top, so it's you know emitting the beam of light. You're trying to focus, well when you're turning your finger and, and, and it's hard not to, but that thing, you can't really do this because your rifle's here, but your finger is getting in, in the way of our IR light. So it's blocking the light, which you then will, will not allow you to see, which makes it a little bit difficult for focusing. I kind of had to maneuver my finger a little bit, fingers in a different way to focus it, to stay out of the way of the IR light. Not a huge deal, got used to it, uh, but just so you know, you know, you heard it first from me. Uh, but again, wouldn't discourage you from uh, from purchasing it that for that reason. Now, um, who this might be good for, I kind of alluded to it. If you're a predator hunter, uh, varmint hunter, shooting raccoons, coons off a feeder, whatever, I found it great for that. Um, I, I really like, does have a fantastic picture image, a very crystal clear picture image at night and during the day. I love that you can record video and audio. I love that it uh, has picture-in-picture -picture display. That's not very common for a night vision optic. I can really only think of one other that right now that has picture-in-picture -picture display. Uh, there's a lot of good uh, benefit for having something, a night vision scope that's convenient, small, compact, almost small enough you could fit in a big pocket, definitely fit it in a backpack, it can go anywhere with you, and it's just, flat out fun man even people that run thermal scopes and high dollar thermal scopes love to shoot night vision uh every now and then i'll tell you because there are uh, a lot of different uses again daytime nighttime i day hunt and deer hunt with a digital optic uh just because i like the way uh, i like to be, record my hunts with it I, i'd like the digital um you know setup and side end process i just prefer it better uh, but I think it's good for anybody that's, if you're not planning on putting an IR light with it, great for anybody under 100 yards the way it is. If you want to shoot out further, you're going to need a, an aftermarket IR light like a Sniper Hog Light. There's three or four different models to choose from, and we can help you out and help you decide. But this has been the AGM Neath. Again, a lot to like picture image, the mount. Uh, three-year warranty the fact that it runs on an 18650 battery uh, I mean very small compact fit just about anywhere so there's a lot of advantage a lot of advantages to this and even if you own a thermal optic there's advantages to having a night vision optic in your lineup uh, one of them is price uh, you know you've 799 dollars you can get into this have a good backup buddy scope or something that you could hunt with during the day something that your kids can hunt with and something you can go out and just plank with and have fun with and that's basically what we do all those around here uh we got the kids hunting with them uh i i take them out hunting with them and uh digital optics are a very viable and important part of the night vision industry and market as a whole so uh even though thermal uh, right now is the bee's knees and will be uh, just because of the advantages uh, that it has over night vision there's one advantage one big advantage that night vision will always have over thermal and that's identification being able to id an animal better with a night vision optic than with just the thermal because thermal you're seeing a heat signature you're seeing a, a black object a white object whatever color it is uh, of color palette you choose with this you're actually seeing you know the animal itself like a flashlight's being shine on it uh, you can see 
cuddle, you know, you're not going to see colors, but you'll see shades of color, uh, if, if I can explain it that way. But you've seen the videos, you know what it looks like. Uh, if you are looking, well, first of all, if you need more information, you're like, man, I want to look at this, I want to look at a lot of other things, a lot of other scopes, watch our weekly show, um, the Late Night Vision Show. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, it's a podcast, so you can find it on all the audio um, audio apps, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. We uh, put them on Facebook. You can find it there. It's The Late Night Vision Show, and we have a website, thelatenightvisionshow.com. Go check out the show. 263 episodes up right now of mainly scope reviews. Uh, also, um, if you are looking to purchase a brand new optic, you can call and talk to me, you can call and talk to Jason, and you can call and talk to our other salesman, Ashley, 877-350-1818. So yes, you can watch this video, push pause, dial the number, and give me a call and talk to me about this optic. 877-350-1818, outdoorlegacygear.com. Thank you for joining us. We've got more reviews. I've got so much piled up back here that we've got a review. I've got it on the floor. So many optics to talk about, so much video to get, so much hunting to do right here on the Hans ETX YouTube channel. We'll see y'all soon. Don't miss next week's episode.